On this channel, I have reviewed hundreds of free VST plugins. However, there are very, very few plugins that I actually keep on my computer and use them in my own productions. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the 25 best free VST plugins I have ever used. Kicking it off with the Ample Bass P2 Lite, this is a free bass guitar plugin. So I'm gonna play it. And as you can see, an amazing GUI too. If I'm doing like a funky track or whatever I'm going for, this is such a cool plugin to mess around with. I can also do it here. I can adjust the tuning as well. So it's a very, very versatile free plugin. In addition, I have tabs, so I can play this. I don't know tabs, just being transparent on camera, but I can easily adjust some of these if I want to. And then obviously just going back to the main source, I can adjust all these parameters here an extremely versatile bass plugin. Number two is the Abstract Vox. This is a really cool plugin. When you first load it up, as you can see, click here to start. I'm gonna go to factory. And similar to when you have like a percussion setting on a keyboard where C is a kick, C sharp is a snare, D is a hi-hat or whatever it is. Same idea where if I play it now, it's all different vocal or Vox samples. Right, really, really cool. Then when I click the individual Vox, which I suggest you do, so like if I'm doing Vox 38, and obviously, I've, been, I've heard of most of these, but not all of these, I can now adjust it by pitch, so. And there's a bunch of genres too, everything from rock to pop to hip hop to some electronic to some that are more ambient, some even trippy. Like that one, a little trippy. This is Alter Ego. This is honestly probably the coolest free VST plugin I've ever used. A lot of times people ask me like, hey Mark, you reviewed hundreds of free plugins. If you have to pick one, only one, which one would you say is the best? And it'd be tough to pick exactly one, but Alter Ego might be that one just because this is such an amazing plugin where I can type in any lyrics that I want and it will sing it back to me, so. Select your alter ego. Select your alter ego. Select your alter ego. I can do chords. So uh, let's put this here. Select your alter ego. And what's cool is the more you use this plugin, the more you can get used to playing it and not only creating your own lyrics, but your own vocal melodies. So I can do like. So, 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 so. Right, or I can do mono. In addition, I have two different packs of Bones and Mary Or. A bunch of weird ones I can do, so. Some of them very trippy, as you can see, that one's super trippy. I'll do like the choir under Bones. And then we have the Diva. And then under Mary Oric, I can do the dramatic, for example. Select your own Terrico. Select your own Terrico. In addition, I have all these different settings in terms of controls for the voice, the stack, the setup, the modulations that I can do, mixing, and then also just the About Me page. And then I can just a lot of things here too. This plugin is one of those plugins that just blows my mind as to how is this plugin free. Next, we have Cloud Room. This is super cool because there's a ton of piano plugins out there, especially free ones. There's a bunch of free orchestral plugins out there. But to find a steel tongue drum plugin, especially one with this impressive GUI and this impressive sound quality is just unreal. So I'm just gonna play it. Really, really cool. I have these four different settings right here, as you can see, so I can adjust them within the mix. And then in addition, I have a five band EQ, a compressor, a stereo delay, and reverb. So it's amazing that if you don't have any of these effects in your DAW, you can quickly do it here. I have two different settings. I have sustain, and then I have mute. So it kind of treats it more like a pluck. Turn reverb off, actually, so you can hear this dry. And the delay as well. Let me turn that off so you can hear dry. And as you can see here with the GUI, depending on what note I hit, shows it here. So if I do this, I 
can click around. Now we have the BBC Symphony Orchestra. This is another one similar to Alter Ego, where I just don't know how this is free. This is hands down the best free orchestra, period. Just gonna play. We have the violins loaded up, and this is almost like a Rompler plugin too. So the way it's processed, which is amazing, is as you can see here, I have the full on orchestra, so I can click, I can do violins, I can do celli, I can do oboes. And when I play it, you'll notice it's also kind of pre-mixed in a sense, where if I play violins one, you notice there's more emphasis on the left. If I do celli, more emphasis on the right. So if I'm writing a full on orchestral arrangement, it's already pre kind of mixed in a sense, as you can see, it's similar to this. So if I do a tenor uh, or a bass trombone, let's do that. You know, all the way on the right. And then if I do horns, more on the left. So it's really cool in terms of the way that's already done. But then the sound quality for each one of these is the best. I mean, honestly, I mean, whether it's flutes, oboes, clarinets, and then I have different articulation settings here. So if I go to violins, And here are all the instruments that we have, just scrolling through them quick. It's truly a super versatile plugin with everything you need for anything orchestral. Next is the Camel Crusher. This is an amazing bit crusher slash distortion style plugin. So I have this one sample or preset, I guess, loaded up in Serum. This is my main one that I use any single time I'm comparing different effects or free effects VSD plugins. So it's gonna turn it on. So you can already tell there's a lot to this plugin. You have distortion, filter, compressor, and the master. And I have a few different presets here, so I'm just gonna kinda click around and play them. So it completely distorts and does all this unique, crazy stuff to the sound. So especially if you're doing any dubstep music or left field bass, like say like Rez, or blank, or uh, 1788L, that kind of style of music. Now we have the Diablo Light. This one mainly is two knobs, but don't let the simplicity fool you. This is an amazing drum enhancer plugin, similar to Camera Crusher, where you take a sample and you can do a bunch of stuff to it. But with this one, it's amazing, especially for kicks or snares, any super punchy hit that you want, but you can also use it for vocals, for synthesizers, you know. So showing you it, I'm gonna play this kick sample. All right? Now if I want to use this plugin, as you can see here, very, very cool GUI too, like so. I can add punch, and then I can add a clip. Softer hard, of course, so I can do this. You can instantly add some oomph into any element in your track. And this plugin uses amazing algorithms to make it way more punchy and way more intense. So let's say if I want to do this to a snare, for example, because I'm doing like a heavy, heavy dubstep song. Uh, I'm just gonna mute this as well. So, All right, now turning this on, everything maxed out. Next is DSK saxophones. Being honest, this has two different saxophone settings. You have soprano and tenor. I personally just use the soprano. I actually don't like the tenor setting. Just being transparent on camera, but playing it. Amazing sax quality. I'm gonna turn up with the reverb. I'll show you the tenor as well. I'm just not the biggest fan of this tenor sound. This is M Voice One. This plugin's unreal because what you can do is type in any lyrics that you want and it will sing it back to you. So it's like a text to speech plugin, but you can also create, as you can see, vocal melodies for your lyrics. You have two different voices. You have Lucy and Jay. So let's make some lyrics. So I typed in these lyrics. I walked down the street. I walk 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 down the street. I wal
walks down the street. Okay, but what's cool about this is you can now create vocal melodies. So let's say I'm doing this in C minor. I'll just do this, right, real quick. And then let's add this in here, and then let's go back down to the C. So it sounds like this now. I walk down the street. I can even add more weird things. So let's say I can do this, and then let's do this, and then let's maybe make this here. I walk down the street. When you're adding some more notes, sometimes it adds in this like la 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 afterwards. It's just kind of cool that it will create its own little extra melody on top of it. So I can do this. I walk down the street, la la la. And I can customize this as much as I want. So like, say I want to do this. Say I want to do something like along these lines. I'll delete some of this. And then, say I just want to go something like that. I walk down the street. I. Um. It like that. I walk down the street. I can do this for a J or a guy as well now. So I'm just gonna make another one. So we're let's say an F here. So I might switch up the vocal melody a little bit. So I'll just do here. Kind of do so much what I did before. So let's do this, right? I walk down the street. And then I can customize it as much as I want. Next up, we have the Ethereal Winds Harp 2. This is amazing because I feel like finding, like I said before, an orchestral FreeVSD plugin is pretty common. But finding a harp, super difficult. So if I want to harp in my tracks, and I've used this plugin in a lot of my songs. Add some reverb on that as well. The IOTA Mini. This is a super underrated plugin that's especially good for trap music or anything hip hop related as well, but you can use it for so many different genres. So, so it's cool about it. It's like a rompler plugin for trap and hip hop music, but again, you can use this for so many different genres. So as you can see, we have 808s, basses, bells, guitars, keys, pads, plucks, synths, and then trap drum kit. So, then I'm showing you some bells. It's an amazing plugin for any type of music. I want some tropical vibes in there. I'm gonna do some keys. Then showing you some pads, for example. And then plucks. And then synthesizers. And then, now we have trap drum kit. So the GUI instantly changes. Showing you a couple of different ones. So what's amazing about this plugin is you could easily make an entire song using only the IOTA Mini. Next up, we have the Isotope Vinyl. This is a really, really cool vinyl distortion plugin that can do a lot of different things. Especially if you think, oh, I just want the vinyl sound or some vinyl scratching or dust in your track. This can go way more in depth than just that. So I'm gonna show you. So we have a few different settings here, so have mechanical noise. Then I have where. This, I actually need a sample, so I'll grab. Um, let's go back to here, I guess. Maybe some vocals. Bass. Bass. Let's use that, right? Bass. Bass. So I have. Bass. Then where. Bass. So it's a lot more subtle, right? Then I have electrical noise. Dust. Turn up the amount. All right. Then we have scratching. Which I'm not gonna lie, doesn't sound too pleasant. And then we have warp depth, so. Bass, bass, bass. Bass, bass. And so we'll go, boom, kind of bring it down, right? Also, the sample's a little bit short. Input gain, output gain, then we have the year and the RPM. So it's kind of cool if I do this, for example, just showing you. I can adjust the year, which is really cool, and then the warp model depending on what I'm going for. The Keyzone Classic. This is easily 
one of my most used piano plugins because one, you have a bunch of features here, as you can already see. And then two, I have five different styles of piano. So playing the main one. We have the key zone piano, the Yamaha Grand. The Steinway. The basic electric piano. And then lastly, the Rhodes piano. You download one piano plug and you get five amazing pianos or five different programs and all these amazing settings to customize it. The Cashmere Essentials Kick is a really, really cool free plugin that's almost a mini subset of the big plugin or the Cashmere Essentials VST, the Cashmere released. And this one is similar to the Diablo one that I showed you by Cymatics, where you can customize a lot of drum samples. But what I like about this one is with the Diablo one, it's meant just to put some more oomph into that kick drum or into any sample that you're using it for. With the Cashmere Centrist kick, as you can see, I have eight different parameters that I can use to adjust any kick. So just playing it, right? Use that same one. So turning it on now, you can see the, the wave like so, or the frequency here. So as you can see now, I have eight different ways to customize this. So showing you, I have sub. Now I have mid. Then I have air. So it seems more on the high end. Make this about 100% again. And then let's do transients. Then I have tape. Pressure. Compression. And then width. Which I don't know why to use width, just being honest. It's kind of a weird one to have. Uh, but. Bitfire Audio Labs. This is making massive waves when it comes to free VST plugins. Think of this similar to Contact, where you download the main program, which is Spitfire Audio Labs, but then you can download all these different packs or instrument packs or sample packs to put into it. So this I have loaded up right now is the trumpet field. So do like the nice and steady preset. And these all have amazing sound quality. So now I'll show you the other ones that I have. So I have choir. It reminds me so much of Halo. So as you can see, this is more of like a long, almost, I'm saying, I guess ambient could work, ambient sound choir, where it's not this vocal one shot, like, ooh, it's more of a subtle. And then lastly, I have the Dill Slimmer. There's a bunch of different ones I have. These are just the main packs I decided to download. Show you the different presets as well. What's amazing, like I said, about the Spitfire Audio Labs is you download this completely for free and all these packs are also free as well. And they have a ton on their site and they're always adding as well more onto their site. So you have so much depth and possibility within this plugin. The MT Power Drum Kit 2 is an amazing free plugin for a bunch of different reasons. Now, first off, I love the sound quality. So I'm just gonna play. In addition, you may notice that there is some stereo width. So, right, more on the right side, more on the left side. So when I go to Mixer, these are already pre-mixed and adjusted. And that's amazing, because let's say you're like, Mark, I'm sorry, I don't really understand mixing yet. I don't even know what you're talking about. You don't have to worry about it, because this plugin has already kind of pre-mixed all the different elements. So when we're making drum samples or drum grooves, you don't really have to worry about any mixing or anything like that. So I'm gonna go back to the main drum kit. The one thing I will say, I think the snare run of uses is a little bit high. I think I would do this. Just being honest, just subtly. No. Yeah, a little bit better. Unless you want the snare to be super punchy. But if you like compared to dubstep where I want the snare to punch you in the mix almost aggressively, if I'm using this plugin, typically the snare wants to be more balanced, I think, in the mix. And then in addition, you now have grooves. 
So this is amazing too. Let's say I'm gonna go to intro. I'm gonna go to the first one, right? And I can play them. So now I'm adding in fills here. And I can now drop grooves here. So I can, all right, put this in afterwards. I mean, it makes it, it takes two seconds as you saw, and I'm not a percussionist, I'm gonna be honest. It takes two seconds to drag and drop, listen to all these unique grooves here, as you can see, and then some fills on top of the grooves, and make all these amazing drum melodies. Next up, we have the powerful Pendulate. This is just a super unique synthesizer, and there's a ton of free synthesizers out there, but there's nothing like this one because it has these unique settings in the background, as you can see with chaos amount, chaos shape, and as they say on their site, this is basically a chaotic, synthesizer, so playing it. So any type of weird experimental, especially bass music, this is your go-to plugin. So I'll just show you some of the presets. see the GUI is super unique too and all these kind of odd settings that it has just makes it a fun plug to mess around with because as you can see I have chaos amount chaos shape and also use some routing too but and then I can do this the wave folder the symmetry <laughs> this however I want. We were just looking at a super bass heavy experimental style synth. Now going to the complete opposite spectrum of music. We have Serenity, which is a meditative slash new age or soundscape style plugin. And what I love about this plugin is the fact that there's so many free, like I said, so many free piano plugins out there, so many free synthesizers. And I love plugins that are just super unique in what they make. And this is perfect for any type of meditative songs. You have three different pads, a texture, and then six different sound effects or ambiances. So I'll start with those. So showing you, I have grasshoppers and I can adjust the level here and the panning. So you can do right or left, right? Birds, some white noise or wind, rain, ocean waves, and then Lake water, I guess the best way to word that. And then we have the pad. So I'm going to play pad one. So really cool texture behind this one. Then we have pad two. And then pad three. And then lastly, the texture. So now turning them all up, I'll just, you know, let's do this. So if I'm making some meditative style songs, or let's say I just want some unique start to my track, I'm even doing a tropical house song, and I just want a cool little almost ambient start before it kind of builds up, I can do something like this. Let's turn on, right? Some ocean waves, let's add in something like that, right? And some white noise too. And now I have this. Serpro is a really, really cool Rompler style plugin where if I click this, as you can see, we have a bunch of its samples. Now I'm not gonna lie, some of them are really not that good. Some of them are super unique and that's what I like about this plugin, it's kind of random. So if I do trumpet, I don't like that sound quality at all, just being honest. But some of the other ones, for example, the, uh, the harmonica. It's a little bit cheesy, but it's a cool sound. I like the sound texture of that. Reminds me a lot, in case you ever played SimCity 3000, that kind of, I don't know, old school jazzy, synthy jazzy style songs. But now I can go to the vocals especially. This is actually my favorite part of Serpo, is the Sri Lanka vocals and the Marissa vocals, so playing them. <laughs> and let's go to Marissa.
I like the kind of vibrotic element near the end of that. Then have steel drum. And that one's all right. Like I said, some of these are really, really good. Some of these are a bit mad. Wow, that's a very fat bass. We have upright bass. Organ dark. Then we have vibes. Put this back to zero. And then see the electric guitar. Not the best, right? So some of these you have to mess around. Some of them are, like I said, are really good. Some of them are bad, but I love the fact that you can download this one plug and have all these right at your disposal. When I first got the Valhalla Supermassive, I messed around with this one forever. Super cool. So I have this Dresel plugin pulled up again, like I used before. So now, let's turn this on. So this is an amazing blend of a reverb plugin and a delay plugin and almost like a weird pitch shifter style plugin. So let's use some of these weird presets. And I have a bunch of modes here too, but let's do some like weird ones. Can you do some really weird stuff? Let's do like a... Nice little flanger there. Then we can do reverbs. Let's do like a medium one to start. Let's do massive. Let's do dark matter. Sounds cool. Repeating echoes with huge reverb. <laughs> oh, don't hear that one. Um... All these are like have very unique names too. Oh, that's kind of weird. Kind of like takes a while. Very, you know, long attack. But it's cool that you start with one simple sound and what this plugin can do with it in terms of manipulating it and messing around with it and just adjusting it however you want is amazing. I am still in shock that Contact Player is still free. In case you haven't used Contact, I mentioned it before when I was talking about Spitfire Audio Labs. It's a legendary plugin, and this is completely free, where you download Just Contact Player and you can import various different instrument packs into this. So as you can see, the main three it comes with is Kinetic Treats, Contact Factory Selection, and the Play Series Selection. So I'll just play some of these, right? So let's do, this. again, all free. Kind of weird and trippy. And then I have the Factory Selection, so I can do one of these. So I'll just do Jazz Organ. Then let's do one from the Play Series selection. I'll do Ethereal Earth. Sounds kind of cool. And then lastly, I'll show you the Project Sam Free Orchestra. This is the only instrument pack I've downloaded so far within Contact. As you can see, these three come with it. So this is the Project Sam Free Orchestra. It's an unreal, free, almost cinematic, I'll say, cinematic style orchestra set. Amazing sound quality for all these samples. And there's a bunch of unique kind of sounds in this one. So just showing you it. And what's cool is it also has some like weird, almost scary sounds. Like if I was doing like a movie score or something like that, this would be my go-to. Weird drone style stuff. Like some weird ambiance. Especially for anything horror, this would be really cool to use. Next, we have the La Petite Excite. This is a free Exciter plugin. And being honest, this is really the only free Exciter plugin I've ever used that works very, very well. It's really one of a kind, in my opinion. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna play this vocal sample. Need you the most. And this is amazing, especially for vocals, if I wanna do some excitement. And I will say, be very careful when turning up all the parameters on this, because it's a very sensitive plugin. But show me the high. Need you the most. Like say, I just want to boost the high end. Need you the most. And then I have CV if I want to do a low compression on that Need high. Need you the most. Right, so I'll show you, especially with an EQ, I think it's a good way to see this. And again, this is amazing. Let's say if I want to do any type of excitement within any element in my track. Again, particularly, I use this a lot for vocals. So, Need you the most. you can see there. Need you the most. Now, if I do this, Need you the most. You see a lot more high end. 
and then the CD helps compress it a little bit. The mo so, I, the most. so if I just want to add a little bit more excitement, then I have low as well. But I don't really use low. Being honest, it's usually more for the high end, but... Need you the mo need you the most. So you can hear a little bit more low end. But again, this one's mainly for the, just the high end. Sometimes I only do it a little bit, just a little smudge to add a little more high end into my vocals. Next is the Ozone Imager. I'm going to use the same exact sample so the need you the most and as you can see this plugin is very very good for a couple different reasons one i can adjust the width i can stereoize something and i have the vector scope so i actually use this one sometimes just for the vector scope because i love the visualness in terms of my stereo width of an element in my track need you the most all right showing the polar level need you the most and then the lisa joust i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly need you the most so it looks like if i want to add more stereo width to this vocal sample turn this up all the way need you the most and as you can see it's now bigger need you the most than if i do this need you the most or i can make it super you know narrow need you the most now as you can see with this one there's not too much stereo width so i can stereoize it this is excellent if I say I have something in mono and I want to put it in stereo, so I'm going to turn this on. I'll just max it out. So I have the stereo eyes turned up all the way, and I'm going to go max out, so let's see here. Need you the most. Now you can clearly see there's a lot on the sides, and that's just amazing with this plugin. Like I said, if I have something like this that actually is pretty narrow, and let's say I want to be more of a full on stereo width, I might turn this up all the way, and then just slowly turn up the width. Need you the most. Need you the most. Need you the most. That way the stereo width is now heavily increased. And I can also do it the other way. Like say I have an element that is too much stereo width and I want it more square in the track. I can do this. Need you the most. And as you can see, it's super narrow and has no stereo width. Next up is the Vox and Go MSED. This one has a special place in my heart because this is actually the first ever free VSD plugin I ever downloaded. And I remember being like, wait a minute, I can download this and it's free? I don't have to spend money on it? And that blew my mind. That's actually what sparked this channel and this whole series of me reviewing free VST plugins. Oh, because this one. So I'm going to play this vocal sample again. Need you the most. And you may be wondering, you have a mid-side plugin here, but also it's the same thing with Ozone Imager. Now for me, I actually use these sometimes together in terms of this one and the Ozone Imager or sometimes separately. What I like about this plugin is I can really adjust the mid and the side, as you can see here, very almost aggressively. So if I have this, you the most. I can do this, Need you the most. right? And especially, let's say something already has a lot of side or a lot of stereo width to it, I can push this super far, Need you the most. or the exact opposite, Need you the most. but I can also do this with mid. So I can do this, Need you the most. right? Very, very loud, because obviously, you know, it has a lot of mid to the sample, and then this. And I like that because with the Ozone Imager, sometimes I can only adjust the width too much either way. But with this plugin, I feel like I can really, really push it. Then obviously, I can add some mid pan and some side pan. And then lastly, the mid mute or the side mute. So let's say if I'm doing some mastering on my track. And this is actually very, very common for mastering where what I'll do is I'll parallel process this on my master chain. And I'll do one will be kind of mid. And then the other one will be side. I'll show you. Then what I'll do is I'll go to mid and I'll mute the side. I'll go to side right here and I'll mute the mid. So now if I solo mid, need you the most. I'm just hearing the middle. And if I'm doing side, right, let me solo side, I'm just hearing the side. So that way when I'm like say mastering my tracks, I can actually split up using this particular plugin, the mid and the side, and I can affect them however I want. And then lastly, but definitely not least, number 25, saving the best for last, is the vital plugin. I still don't know how this is free. Not only is this hands down the best free synthesizer in terms of all the free synths that are out there, but this arguably might be the best synth ever made, beating out Massive, Serum, Phase Plan, and all these other paid synth VST plugins. So I'm just gonna play some of these amazing presets. <laughs> just gonna show you a bunch of them. This plugin is especially good for dubstep or any type of experimental or bass music. And as you can see too, you can add a lot of depth into these plugins, or to me into this plugin in terms of all the different macro settings that I can kind of adjust, all the routing, I mean, the effects as well. It's insane what this plugin has. Again, I'm just showing you a bunch of presets. 
And then last one I'll show you, again, I could go on for a while. Well, that's a very long tail. Is the text to wave table. This in itself, I feel like just makes this plugin super fun to work with because what I can do is type in anything when I go to text to wave table. I'll just type in Vine just to relive the old Vine days, which by the way, I love that app. I still don't know why they got rid of it. But anyway, Vine. so I can play it now. Vine. Vine. I can adjust this in the LFO so I can do or I can do this way. Vine, vine, vine. I can do chords. Vine, 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 vine. I can now adjust the vocal chord or two, so I'll bring this down here. And then, one of my favorite parts of the text to wavetable function is I can do this in reverse. So again, I'm gonna play it. Vine. Vine in full. Now I can do this, bring this up here, and now it's gonna play it backwards. And this is just one small feature in the amazingness that is the Vital Synth, arguably the best free VST plugin ever made.